I'm Randy Bowling and I work for Equalizer Systems and today's component we're going to be talking about is the hydraulic pump and specifically pressure. So there's a few things that we need to talk about when it comes to pressure in the hydraulic pump. Okay, First you have extend pressure and that's when the pump runs and it runs the jacks down to pick up the coach. On every one of the Equalizer Systems, the system should be able to pick the coach completely off the ground. So if you run your jacks down and they hit the ground and they won't pick up the coach. The issue is going to be the pump is not building enough pressure to do so. And if that is the case, you'll need to replace the pump. Next is retract pressure. Retract pressure on our system, we measure it with the pressure switch. Now the pressure switch is designed so once it sees 1800 PSI, it will shut the lights off on your touchpad saying that the jacks are up. Now there's a couple of issues that you can have with our pressure switch. One, the pressure switch can be stuck open or it can be stuck closed. Now if the pressure switch is stuck open, what will happen is the jacks will retract, but they'll only retract for about five seconds and it will shut the system off without the jacks being completely retracted and your lights will shut off on the touchpad. To test this, you go to the pressure switch and you will disconnect the yellow wire with the black stripe from the pressure switch and you will take that wire directly to ground. Once you ground that wire, hit all retract again with the jacks down. What should happen is the jacks should retract fully, the pump should time out and the light should stay on. If that is the case, your pressure switch is stuck open. Now the other thing it can do is your pressure switch can be stuck closed. If the pressure switch is stuck closed, what will happen is the pump will turn on, the jacks will retract, and the lights will stay on. If that is the case, what you do is you unplug the yellow wire with the black stripe from the pressure switch, hit all retract again. If the pump runs for five seconds and shuts off, and the lights shut off, your pressure switch is stuck closed and it will need to be replaced. And the last thing to discuss about pressure is when a customer is at a campground, they hit all retract and they start driving down the road. And once they start driving down the road, their jacks down status alarm goes off saying that their jacks are actually down while they're driving down the road. If this occurs, the issue is the check valve inside of the hydraulic pump is not holding retract pressure. We have a simple and quick and easy fix for this issue. And what we do is we add what we call a DV2 kit. Now in this DV2 kit, it will come with instructions on how to install it. It will come with a valve and a coil. And on your coil, it will come with three wires. It will come with a black, a blue, and a green. And basically the DV2 valve is installed right here beside the pressure switch where it is actually marked DV2 right on the manifold. And to install it, what you want to do is you want to fully extend the jacks like we have now. Then you will need to remove this plug in the manifold. And with the jacks fully extended, there's no pressure on this plug. So you'll take the plug out of the manifold you'll have some seepage from the fluid but no pressure then you will install the valve it takes a 7 8 wrench to tighten the valve then you will install the coil on the end of the valve and the nut which this takes a three quarter inch wrench to tighten the nut. After you are finished with that, you will hook up these three wires. Now the three wires, black goes to the ground stud on the back side of the pump. The blue and the green goes to the two studs on the very end of the motor. 
and it doesn't matter which one goes where. And this is how you install a DB2 valve. And with that, your DB2 kit is installed on your Equalizer Systems pump. And if you have any other questions, please visit us at EqualizerSystems.com.